the 13 highest paying entry level jobs with the most demand. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be going over entry level jobs where you can make a pretty good salary, but they have a ridiculous amount of demand and therefore it's easier to get the job. You're probably gonna get treated better because there's so much demand and in the future, you're likely gonna be able to make more money. So let's jump right into this one. I'm gonna to try to keep it short and sweet because we are going over 13 different jobs. So I don't want this video to go on too long, but if you appreciate videos like this, go ahead, gently tap that like button, comment down below any of your opinions. And the best thing you can possibly do is share this with friends because I don't have a big marketing team like universities do. So sharing it with friends really helps out a lot. All right. So first one on the list is going to be wind turbine technician. All right. So I think everybody knows what wind turbines are. If you've ever driven through Kansas, you've probably seen like hundreds or thousands of them before. They're great for harnessing the energy of the wind, but they need somebody to take care of them, AKA wind turbine technician. Now for the salary, you can expect to make about $56,000 a year. Now the job growth here is a mind boggling 61% over the next 10 years, which is just, that's nuts. And you can expect to make about $66,000 a year. You also don't have to get a degree. There is a certification process, however. So yeah, a lot of different technician or trade type careers that are phenomenal when it comes to the opportunity. Number two on the list is going to be digital marketer. This is one that I've talked about quite a bit on the channel. Now, wind turbine technician is great, but that's not something you can do remotely. That is not gonna be a problem if you become a digital marketer. Now, the specific types of digital marketing that I'm talking about are paid ads on something like Facebook, uh, pay-per-click, you know, Google ads, or SEO, which is search engine optimization. Now, when you type in digital marketing at the entry level on LinkedIn, you see 124,000 job listings available. So that is phenomenal. Tons and tons of demand here. On top of that, you make $80,000 per year, according to Glassdoor. Now, I did an interview with Keyshawn on this channel, who is somebody who became a digital marketer and they decided to skip college, basically right after high school. Uh, they tried to get into it and they were able to get a job as a digital marketer at 19 years old. And then Keyshawn is able to make around $70,000 a year at 20 years old. And if you are interested in becoming a digital marketer yourself, you can check out a free masterclass from my friend Seth, who teaches people how to become digital marketers. I will include that down in the description below, as well as the pinned comment. Seth has thousands and thousands of reviews on his Instagram and his YouTube channel. You can check those out if you want to. He has literally helped thousands of people become digital marketers. He's the best in the world at doing it by far. The next one on the list, number three, is going to be technology sales. This is also known as sales development representative, business development representative, and software sales. So this is another phenomenal one that you can get into. Um, it has a ridiculous amount of demand. So when you type in sales development on LinkedIn, you'll see 126,000 entry level jobs and business development has 426,000. Just ridiculous when it comes to the demand. And you can expect to make about $79,000 a year from a business development representative job. Next one on the list is going to be a medical related job and that is surgical technologist. Now, very similar to trades, there is a ton of random little medical related jobs you can get into to with very little experience. Sometimes it's just some training or a certification. And there are honestly a ton of these out there. There's seriously hundreds of random ones where there's like 10 or 15,000 jobs in the US. But surgical techs work with surgeons and nurses to assist them during surgeries. And the job growth here is about 7% and you can expect to make about $84,000 a year. Next one on the list, number five is going to be web developer. And this is basically the most basic form of software development. It is used used in order to create websites. And when you look up web development on LinkedIn at the entry level, you will see 151,000 job postings in the US alone. And web developers make about $98,000 a year. Number six is going to be systems analyst and other IT related careers. And this one is all about making an organization's information technology systems more efficient. And when you look up systems analyst on LinkedIn at the entry level, you will see 250 53,000 job postings. And system analysts make about $102,000 a year. So another phenomenal career. Next one on the list 
is going to be cybersecurity analyst. And this one has a focus on keeping the organization's information and data safe. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this one is a little bit of a stretch to get in at the injury level, but it's not impossible. You do see 68,000 entry level job postings on LinkedIn. And as a cybersecurity analyst, you would make about $100,000 a year. Number eight on the list is a great one for artists, and that is UX UI design. UX stands for user experience, UI stands for user interface. User experience is a little bit more analytical, user interface is a little more artistic. Now, this one does have a decent amount of demand, especially for an artistic related career. So, for instance, you see 49,000 job openings for UI design at the entry level. And you can expect to make about $83,000 a year as a UX UI designer. Next one on the list is going to be software quality assurance. There's a couple different names for this one quality assurance analyst, software quality assurance, etc. And basically, this is all about testing out the company's final products, whether it be an app or maybe a piece of software, and make sure that there are no bugs and it meets the company's standards. I've heard that even for a small company, if a piece of software has some sort of bug in it, it can cost up to $20,000 a day. So catching and fixing these bugs as quickly as possible is incredibly valuable. Now, when you type in quality assurance on LinkedIn, you see that there are 174,000 entry level jobs in the US. And with this one, you can expect to make about $100,000 a year. Next one on the list, number 10, software developer. I think everybody knows what this one is. It's actually very closely related to quality assurance as well as web development. And even though there are tons of resources out there teaching people how to do software development, there's boot camps. Uh, computer science is one of the most popular degrees, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many different ways to become a software developer. You still see 449,000 entry level jobs posted for software development. Ridiculous amount of demand here. I will say though, software development is not easy to learn. This is not something you can get into in like a month or two, like some of the other careers on this list, but it also has a much higher expected salary at about $111,000 a year. Next on the list is going to be data analyst, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You are going to be collecting and interpreting data. And if you type in data analytics, you're gonna see 121 1,000. If you type in data analyst, you're going to see 303,000 entry level jobs, a ridiculous amount of demand. And in those jobs, you can expect to make about $77,000 a year. Next one on the list, number 12 is going to be a real estate agent. As a real estate agent, you would be selling houses. And this one tends to be a little bit more entrepreneurial. Now, typically real estate agent jobs aren't necessarily going to be posted on LinkedIn, but you still see about 53,000 entry level real estate agent jobs on LinkedIn. And this is one that you can get into and go full time, or you can just make a little bit of side hustle money on the side. And people who are able to go full-time report making about $107,000 a year as real estate agents. Now, typically there is going to be a certification. It doesn't take too long to get certified, but it does depend on the state that you live in. And last one, number 13 is going to be another trade type career, which is solar photovoltaic installer. So this is basically somebody who installs solar panels. They could be installing it on your house or maybe in your backyard. The job growth here is a phenomenal 51%. It is really growing fast over the next 10 years and you can get into it relatively quickly. I do believe it varies state by state, but typically it's like a certification process. And you can expect to make about $64,000 a year installing solar panels. So if you made it to the end of the video, check out my interview with Keyshawn here. He is a young guy who was able to get into digital marketing. Also gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. cetera. Jab on the video and I will see you next time.